Hello guys and welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you a quick way how to add another keyboard layout in Linux Mint. I know it sounds pretty simple, but if you're here, you're probably wondering how to do it. So let's get started. But before start, if you're first time to the channel, please take a second to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss new videos. This will help me a lot to grow my channel and bring you more helpful and interesting videos like this. Also, if you find this video helpful, please hit the like button. Thank you very much and let's get started. So if you first just installed Linux Mint and you haven't added another keyboard during the installation process, you can easily do it afterwards. For this, you just gotta go to the bottom left corner to the menu, then go to the settings. Over here, you can see this icon. In the system settings where there is a field, just type keyboard. So it is in a hardware section. Just click on it, then go to layouts. And as you can see, I only have one keyboard right now. So I'm going to add a second keyboard. So go ahead and just press plus here. And here you can choose any keyboard that you need. There's hundreds of different keyboards. So just choose the one that you like, or you can just type it over here. There are different keyboard layouts for each language. Just choose the one that you need and just press add. You can add as many keyboards as you like. It is very simple. By the way, there are also a few display options you can use. For example, you can use a flag if it's available to represent keyboard layout. I like it very much because it will make it easier to recognize which language you got. So it is very convenient and you can see them very easily. Also, there are other options, but this is the main one that I'm using. Also, if you wanna know how to enable a quick switching between keyboards with a shortcut on the keyboard, I've got another video, so check it out. I'm going to put the link in the description. So I hope you find this video helpful. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more helpful tip tutorial videos for Linux. And if you want to check out more about Linux, I got a lot of Linux videos on my channel. So you can check out the Linux playlist. There you'll find a lot of helpful tips. So make sure to check it out if you're into Linux. But this is it for today. I hope you have a nice day. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.